So before we pay two hundred and forty dollars on an NAN plan for a year, I think it's worth it to have a full-featured free trial. However, there's a huge problem there. If you just host your NAN instance for free locally, then you will have something like local host five six seven eight that is not accessible to the public internet. So. When you want to connect a Telegram node in your workflow, that won't work, and your workflow cannot easily talk to different webhooks, such as chat, messengers, the Google Suite. So you're not really having a bona fide free trial. Now we're going to accomplish all of that today by using Docker and another tool called Ngrok. And number one, why we're using Docker here? Well, because Docker provides a container where it doesn't really matter what kind of operating system you're having or whatever packages you are installing, it will not get influenced. And what about Ngrok? The technical explanation is it will give you a tunnel so that your locally hosted NAN instance can access the public internet. So you are able to connect a Telegram node and other webhooks in your NAN workflow. So if we are only running NAN locally without using Ngrok, it's like we have an internal phone system and it's nice. We can actually call a pizza restaurant. We are able to get RSS updates. However, it's hard for them to talk back to us. Without Ngrok, it's like we're calling the pizza restaurant and telling them, hey, just deliver to room 5678 without telling them an actual address. So they're not able to call us back and not able to deliver the pizza information back to us. Now, what Ngrok does is it will give us a public phone number so we can not only call the pizza restaurant and they will be able to call us back using this phone number and deliver the pizza, the information back to us because we now have a public URL provided by Ngrok. And all at the same time, we don't need to pay any money. No. Okay, so first step, let's install Docker Desktop if you have not already done so. Just go to docker.com, click on Download Docker Desktop, and select the operating system you're using. And for me, I'm using a Mac, so I'm just going to click this one, install it, and open it. And after you have installed it, you have to open Docker. You will see something like this. And you won't have anything like NAN production here because I set it up early on, which is totally fine. Now, you can choose to set up everything manually using the GUI interface, but it's actually more complicated. I recommend that we use the terminal to simplify this process. Now let's minimize the Docker desktop. And step two, we actually need to create a data folder for the NAN data. So this one you can personalize. And I'm just going to create an NAN-data folder under the home directory. And you can choose to say that you want this folder to be under documents or any other folder, and that's your choice. You just modify this command. So let's open the terminal and just type in mkdir, make directory, and enter. So you see it tells me file exists because I've already done that before. Um, but you can do this to make sure you created this designated folder. Okay, then step three, while our Docker desktop is open, we then create our first NAN container. Now, don't worry about every single command line here. I know it might sound a little bit intimidating here, but um, it's really not. Every line in this code is just a way to simplify the procedure for you. Um, 
So here roughly it means, you know, I will run a detached container and we're going to give it a name, NAN local. And this line just says, we're going to run this NAN instance locally on the port 5555 and 5678 is the default port that NAN will use. And this line dash V means we're going to share which folder we're going to do this volume mount so that within a container, it knows where our data will be stored in our local computer. So which is why we have created a folder in the last step. And obviously here you are welcome to modify, but you can also just directly copy my setup to get started. And the next one is we're setting an environment variable in the insecure cookie. We're setting it to false. This is super important because we are running things locally. And in order for us to test things locally correctly, we have to set this one as false. And the last line is just the name of the in the end official image. We're going to pull and download. So here, please just copy directly this code to your terminal if you're using Mac. And if you're using Windows, the syntax is slightly different, but it's really similar. You can ask ChatGPT to convert this command into a Windows terminal command. If you're interested, I'll share both the Mac command and the Windows command in the PDF guide. Uh, but right now, don't worry about the specific command. I will at least give the Mac command down in the description section below. Okay. All you have to do is copy this command and paste in the terminal window and hit enter, right? Since I have already done the step, I'm not going to redo this. And this process is going to take a little while since it's going to download everything first time. After you have completed that setup, you should see NAN local container showing up, right, in your Docker desktop. Before we set up ngrok, we want to make sure we already have a working NAN instance installed locally. All we have to do is go to local host 5555 because we set it up like that. And if it's your first time running it, you should see a registration page and you should just go through the process and create an account. And then after you log off and return, you should see a sign in page, not a registration page. Okay. And that's the way to know that it's installed correctly. It knows your login credentials correctly. So you do not need to create a new account every time you open it. Okay. Step four. We're ready to create our ngrok account. Just go to ngrok.com and sign up to create an account. And after you have created an account, you will see this dashboard. On the left hand side, you will see setup installation. So depending on your operating system, this could be Mac OS or Windows. You can directly click here to download or in Mac OS. If you have homebrew, you can directly copy these two commands in your terminal. It's much more straightforward. So the first line brew install ngrok, just run this one. It will install ngrok. And second one, run ngrok config add auth token here, also in your terminal and enter, let's see. If I do this, copy, and here, brew install ngrok. I already, up, up, um, since I have already installed ngrok, it's updating, it's checking if there's any updates. And if it's your first time, it's going to take a little while. Okay. And really importantly, remember we need a public domain. Um, on the left hand side, just go to domains here, click on it. And in the free account, you can request one free static domain and just click on plus new domain here. It will automatically create a domain for you. And since oh, I've already done it, I'm not going to do it again. It'll be a stream characters and dot and grog free dot app. And this is your public domain link. Please save that somewhere easy for us to access. Okay. 
All right, then let's move on to step five. Now, this is really important since now we're giving a tunnel to our locally hosted NAN. We have to stop and remove the old container by running these two commands in the terminal. All right, and just copy exactly what I have here if you're using a Mac and make sure you do this. Feel free to pause the video and run these two lines. Okay. And after step five, we move on to step six and we're almost there. We are ready to create the production container. And in the terminal, we're going to run this specific command. Now you see, this is a very enriched version of the original Docker command since now we are introducing the webhook URL that Ngrok assigned to us, the webhook URL. Okay, so it's really important that you see there are five environment variables here. And in the previous version, we already have NAN secure cookie set to false, which is great. We don't need to add anything. And then here we also have NAN templates enabled equals true. So this allow us to access some previewed templates if we want. Then the next two things really important, NAN editor base URL. Okay, this one, you're gonna copy over the ngrok domain URL here. All right, the next one is webhook URL. And this is the same. This is where telling NAN that, hey, if you want to access external apps such as Telegram, you have to use this link. And lastly, NAN default binary data mode equals file system. This is that we're telling NAN that for large files or PDFs attachments, you can store them in a file system and not the database to save the memory. And the very last line is the same. We're pulling the NAN image and just run this one. Then we'll have a production ready container. Okay, you can feel free to pause here, do the screenshot or copy and paste from the, the description box below. After you have run this one, you open your Docker desktop. You should now see only the NAN production container here. Okay, the very last step, we're ready to restart the tunnel. Once again, in the terminal, just run ngrok http and then domain equals the uh, ngrok domain and 5555. It just tells it that hey, the locally hosted port is 5555. Okay. So after you run this command in your terminal, remember to replace this dot app link with your ngrok link. And you should say something like this. I'm redacting my email address and my ngrok link here so that it's not confusing you. Okay. So if you're saying something like that, it means we are 99.9% .9 sure it's working. Now we do not need to go to localhost 5555, but using the ngrok link. So just grab your ngrok link and type that in a browser of your choice. You should use the same login credentials to log in here. And obviously you can access that link from anywhere your phone, another computer. So it's a public URL. And congratulations. If you see the login page and you can log in, that means your NAN instance hosted locally are now able to access external webhooks. You can do pretty much anything that a paid client on the cloud can do freely. And I think it's a fantastic way to test it out thoroughly before we make any large purchasing decisions. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope this is a great start for you to have a no cost trial. If you're interested in learning more about the specific workflows I created to automate a lot of tasks for my personal and professional work, please leave your comments below. See you next time.